Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Jake Hadley versus Charles Johnson. Jake Hadley, 10 and 2, 3 and 2 in his last five fights, 2 and 2 in his last four. Charles Johnson, 14 and 6, 2 and 3 in his last five fights, 1 and 3 in his last four, minus 170 for Hadley, plus 145 for Charles Johnson. 27 years old to 33 years old, 5'7 seven to 5'9, 70 inch reach, even. This is a fun fight. And personally, I think the strength of Hadley is going to be the difference in this one. Even if he can't finish Johnson, which he's been shown to be hard to finish, obviously, he does get touched and he does typically get behind in his in his losses. You know, he got hurt real bad against Azza in the first round, real bad. Now, uh, Jake Hadley, you know, he's. Eight finishes off his 10 wins. His two losses are by decision by uh, Cody Burden and Alan Asimento. Pretty good fighters, to be honest. He's beaten decent fighters, not great fighters. You know, so that's a little bit weary. I think Charles Johnson has fought the better competition. Even though I, I like the movement and the output of Johnson, I think the wrestling could be a really, really bad factor for Jake Hadley. That being said... I like Johnson's output, like I said, his movement, his speed. I like the ability that even if it goes to the ground, that he really could create some scrambles and make it a lot of fun to watch. And he's just fought the better competition. Like he fought Makayev early in his first fight in the, in the uh, UFC. Zalgis, he beat by split, even though he did not win that. Uh, destroyed Jimmy Flick, which, okay. Beat O'Day, Cody, Rafael Esteem, lost, lost to those guys. The Rafael Steve one was Estevan was weird and then beat Azat in a pretty close fight. So could have been a draw. Could have been 10 8 for Azat, but again, the first round. But again, I like Charles Johnson. I think energy gets it done. And as always, subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.